Hello! A question that often comes up in the mailing list and in the Slack channel and various other places is what do I do with mail or when mail fails? There's a couple of things and most people say just look at the log but that is kind of like going underneath the engine just to check your petrol level in your car. What you should do is actually go into the administrator. I have an example here of a simple template uh, let's have a look at the code just so you know. So basically it's, it's uh, CF mail from to with the subject, that's it, right? So if I reload this a few times, I actually have a web server defined, a mail server defined. So if we go to my mail, you can see there's a mail server defined. It's actually not defined properly. So the mail won't go. There isn't a username in there. Now if I, if I verify it here, you'll see that uh, well it says it's successful but it's not actually it hits the server but it doesn't actually send anything what i can do to find out th the fact that these emails have not been sent i haven't received an email just now i'm, I'm going to call this code again a couple of times as well so you can see that it's gone off you can actually go to the task section and in the tasks you can see that actually here's your mail and it says the number of retries if you actually go and edit it you'll get a lot more information. So basically it says that you must start as your start TLS command, right? Uh, the error in this case specifically doesn't really matter, but you actually can see what the problem with the email is. And what you can see is the number of times it's going to retry, it's going to try it four times, and the number of times that it's tried. So if we go back to tasks, uh, there are one, it tells you when the next execution will be, which from my time will, about, will be in about five minutes. If I click execute again, it's going to try it. And you see the number of tries has gone up. So you have two tries. Now this is a great little feature that also shows you uh, all the different executions and all the errors that, that have happened for this mail. So it's much easier to debug what is going on with your CF mail this way. Now, actually the tasks is something that you can hook into programmatically and you can do it by CF thread. So if we have an example here, you can actually see we're using CF thread type equals task. This is the only difference from most things. And you can actually do a retry interval is 10. So for example, every it'll try it every 10 seconds, I think. I'm not sure what the interval actually is going to be here. Um, and you can give it a name, my awesome task. Now this one's going to fail um, with my message. I'm not doing this. So if we now run this code uh, a few times, there you go, a couple of times, I've run that a couple of times, I can now go to my tasks again, and you can see that I have CF thread, my awesome task, why did that fail? And it'll tell you exactly why it failed. It told me that in index line three, it said the error is I am not doing this. So there you go, CF thread is a really useful thing because it will re retry to execute that bit of code. So you can use CF thread equals type equals task, and you can see if it's ex executed. I hope this helps.